There you are. Sorry, you guys. Hello. Can y'all hear me? I'm having some computer issues for sure. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, you can hear me. <laughs> good. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. I hope everybody's having a, a good challenge. I heard from, uh, good morning, Butkus. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I heard from uh, Tabitha. Uh, yeah, I heard from Tabitha this morning, and she was upset because I overcame her in steps. I finally got my Fitbit to work. Uh, so I'm going to be able to compete a little bit this week, at least in that. Yesterday, I, I got uh, into a mess in the yard with a, a Bradford pair. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. I'm old and tired and beat up from this tree. I don't know how many steps I'll get today. Anyway, uh, I am not as young as I used to be. As you can tell from all this gray in my beard and the lack of hair on my head, if that weren't enough, uh, my body sure does uh, let me know that I am not spry anymore. Um, just, uh, uh, I'm going to have a short roundup today. Um, please accept my apologies right off the bat. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, April. Good morning, Christy. Good morning. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Kendra. Good morning, Kimberly. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Michelle. Hey, Millie. Miss you. Good morning. Good morning, Patricia. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Tabitha. Good morning, Tammy. Glad to have everybody here. Um, uh, so I got one question. Let me uh, let me throw this out there. Uh, do you take zero drag vitamins plus with each meal? It says three times a day. So uh, if you are fortunate enough to still have uh, the zero drag vitamins plus or plus pro in your uh, cupboard or on your counter, hopefully wherever you can get to it easily. Um, some people take it with food and we take it with fruit, food because it, some people when they ta when uh, taking supplements have a little bit of upset stomach. Now, whether you take them all at the same time or one with each meal. I mean, if you weren't taking, if you weren't eating three times and you had three tablets to take, um, you certainly wouldn't not take a tablet because you didn't have food to take it with. Um, most multivitamins, most supplements that are multivitamins if you look at the nutrition label, or it's called uh, the supplement label, actually, or uh, it's not a nutrient label, it should be a sup. The supplement label, it will tell you the daily, uh, the, it's the suggested daily allowance percentage per line item on the nutrition label. And what you'll see is, a lot of those line items have way more than 100% on them. Some will have less, but those are uh, mostly vitamins and minerals that we get naturally and that our body absorbs very well, okay? When we take supplements that have way more, than 100%, you know, maybe 300, 500, 1200 percent of the daily allowance in one or, or in the, uh, the daily supplementation. It's because those supplements, those, the, the, uh, the line items in those supplements that have those higher percentages are way, way harder for our bodies to process and actually absorb. So, they will, they will wash through the system. Have you ever noticed when you take vitamins that your urine changes colors? Have y'all ever noticed that? Part of 
that color change is your body getting uh, uh, passing or eliminating the nutrients that it couldn't absorb. Okay. And so if you have this attrition rate or this um, ineffective or inefficient rate of absorption, let's say if out of 100% um, administered, you only get a 10% absorption rate, they will uh, multiply that nutrient in the supplement or that item in the supplement to where uh, you, it's, it, it will be in there tenfold. And the expectation is that if you take 10 times as much as the daily allowance, you will absorb the daily allowance. Does that make sense? So a lot of these supplements are going to have a lot of washout on the elimination side. And 99% of that stuff is the overage of the percentile. So when y'all look at your supplement label, I wasn't going to teach anything this morning. Uh, when you look at your supplement label and your uh, and it baffles you, that's the reason why. And then um, a lot of the times when you uh, are comparing, because now that y'all know this, I know I did, I wanted to, to compare, right? I wanted to look at this supplement and that supplement and say, well, why does this one have... Um, 1100% on this, uh, whatever it may be. And then the next one may, may only do like 800%. Uh, it's because depending on the source, okay, depending on the source of that line item, they may have a higher quality one. They, have a, they may have a, a, a more easily digested, digestible or absorbable version. Uh, the technologies that we've learned through, um, well, time, trial, era, experimentation, however you want to say it, um, with those supplements and the absorption thereof, uh, we have learned uh, as a people a, a tremendous amount about how uh, those things are absorbed and work. Listen, God made our body so fearfully and wonderfully even though we've learned all that stuff, we still don't know everything. Okay, so don't, don't, uh, you, it's always, 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 well, I, I think in our lifetime at least, in our lifetime, it will always be practice and experimentation when we take nutrients, supplements, medication, you name it. And I mean medication from the doctor. Um, yeah, penicillin has been around for a, what, a couple hundred years now, but um, that doesn't mean we absolutely 100% know the final outcome of all of those, uh, those things when we um, take them into our bodies. We know about T cells and B cells, and we know about, uh, we know about insulin and glucagon, and we know about all kinds of things that happen in the body, but we'll never fully understand every aspect of it um, as uh, does our creator, okay? So just, just remember that when it comes to that stuff. Uh, short answer is you can take them all at one time. Short answer, take them all at one time, if you have ever taken them and they give you any um, issues in your stomach at all, um, be sure to uh, drink a glass of water maybe before and after uh, you uh, consume them. And definitely, uh, and if that gives you heartburn, then I would uh, consume them with food. So I would go with a lot of water because you really want those supplements to be in your system and in get and to get into your well, to your bloodstream. So you want them to break down, digest, and get in your blood so your body will process them, get what it needs, and get rid of uh, what it doesn't. You mix it in with food, it's probably going to have a little bit less uh, uh, efficacy to get absorbed, but it, the, the food can, uh, can uh, mask it and get it through. How many of you have ever taken fish oil? And I'm already on a tangent. 
How many of you have you have you ever taken a fish oil supplement? Krill oil, fish oil, any omega? Uh, uh, it, you know, it's typically in like a little a gel cap or a, some kind of a. a, a uh, it's enclosed. It's not a. It's not something that would pull apart. Have you ever gotten heartburn from that? Has anybody ever experienced heartburn from a from an omega supplement, a fish oil supplement? So I got a no and a it's the worst at the same time. So some do and some don't. Okay, fish burps. Okay, so I've got both. Both some do and some don't. So here's the lesson in supplementation. They affect everybody a little differently. Of course, it's fish burps, right? It's heartburn or it's nothing at all. Um, next time, we'll do a little bit of experimentation. Listen, my the first person to ever tell me, hey, Jason, you should be taking this supplement. It's This is a great supplement and blah, 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 you know. And, and it's, of course, to, to this person, it was, this was before I was ever on a diet. This is before I was ever minded my food consumption. And I lived with heartburn always. I, I always had heartburn. He tells me I, I need to start taking this. Good for brain health. Good for your skin. Good for I'm, all this stuff. And of course, I mean, I, 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 he's, uh, I tried it. And I mean, immediately I'm like, dude, I can't do this stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm tasting fish all the time. He says, put them in the freezer and consume them frozen like this was not this was one of the worst ideas ever <laughs> i think because uh, anyway in order to digest it my body would have to first unfreeze it uh but uh or thaw it out but his idea was if i could get it if he could get it past my stomach where my stomach acid was then i wouldn't experience this heartburn now I've learned to diagnose my heartburn in a different way, okay? As well, I've learned to take fish oil supplements if I'm taking them in a different way. But I'm gonna say this, next time you're in your, and, and next time you got some MCT oil out and you're gonna, um, you don't even have to do the experiment. Most of you got, you, you have, have done this already. You ever had a, a, a pan or a skillet that you were cooking with that had oil in it? And you take it to the to the sink to clear it up, clean it up, and you put water in that skillet. What happens to the oil? Anybody? What happens to the oil in the skillet when you put water in? Anybody know? What does the oil do? It floats. That's right. It floats. So the same as that's why some of us taste fish oil or fish when we take um, the fish oil tablets or the krill oil tablets or the amino acid, uh, the amino, I'm sorry, the omega uh, fatty uh, supplements. It's because that, that soft gel capsule is dissolving in our stomach acid and the oil is floating on our stomach acid. Instead of passing through and being absorbed, it's staying in our stomach, okay? Just like, just like oil on water, okay? It's, stay, it's floating. And so uh, when we have reflux or when we belch or whatever, that's where that's coming from. So learning how to take those type supplements that's how I if I take that kind of supplement I have to eat with it okay and I rarely eat when I take supplements but that's one supplement that if it's in my pack if I'm taking my uh my Avocare MNS um Omnis right that have that fish oil tablet now Avocare has done a good job with their uh, with their fish oil tablets and put a, a, a really good thick gel layer on it and it tends to 90% of the time gets passed but I hate that that part of supplementation where I get a um, a reflux or a backup or however you want to say it maybe some of y'all uh, learned something today about supplementation but listen 
I'm not that smart when it comes to um, the absolutes of supplementation, knowing, uh, and it's not that I'm not that smart. Let me rephrase that. I am, I am out of the practice of staying completely aware of those things and teaching them. Okay. So I know that I know the answers to supplementation, nutrient absorption, and things like that, but there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. They absorb at different rates. Some, um, some vitamins are fat soluble. Some are water soluble. Typically the water soluble vitamins are the ones that, uh, that we need uh, uh, less than 100% of. The ones that are fat soluble, we, we typically take in more than 100% of because uh, when they break down, they break down but they have to be stored in a fat cell and absorbed through a fat. Uh, and water soluble, of course, they break down and our body absorbs them very easily. They break down in water. Fat soluble vitamins break down in our fat. So they, they're actually stored in a fat cell and the fat cell uh, uh, absorbs those nutrients as, as needed. Lots to learn about that kind of stuff, really not uh, for it, but... Um, so Vitamins Plus Pro has been my vitamin for, uh, well, years, eight years. Eight years, it's been my vitamin of choice. I typically uh, cycle my Vitamins Plus Pro with a AdvoCare Coreplex. Um, I believe the Omniplex is also an excellent choice. However, um, if you're wanting the uh, to take a super stack or a a, uh, and you're not wanting to go and purchase the supplements individually, the AdvoCare MNS, it's called MNS. Um, and I typically suggest all weight losers or people that are still really, either you enjoy the energy from a weight loss, uh, a thermogenic um, booster type uh, that would, would take the Delta, okay? MNS Delta. And if you're more of a wellness uh, uh, maintenance uh, and you, you want to take a, a full range uh, supplement stack type of a uh, setup to go with the uh, MNS Omni, MNS Omni. The, uh, does it decrease appetite? Actually, the Delta, Angela, has appetite suppressants in it. Uh, it's actually, a, it's got thermogenics in it to help boost uh, uh, the, uh, your body's uh, efficacy at uh, burning nutrients up. It has, uh, it has the appetite decreaser or the suppressant, appetite suppressant in it. All of those are built into the Delta. The, um, the Omni, so it's MNS Delta or MNS Omni. They're MNS is the multi-nutrition systems. Anyway, it's a long words. Um, but then the Delta is one pack and the Omni is the other pack. But they're both a 14-day supplemental system. So they're, they're, they are a little pricey. If you look at it as it's only 14 days, but if you individually separate out the, all of the different supplements that are in the stack, when I say a stack, it gives you, it gives you uh, good fats, it gives you multivitamins, it gives you energy, it gives you um, thermogenic, it, it, it gives you all kinds of stuff. And it used to be about 15 tablets, and now I think they've got them down to like seven or eight tablets in one day. And you take a little packet, they come in little full packets, plastic packets that are uh, typically one in the morning with breakfast, one in the middle of the day and one in the evening. Um, it's, it's not hard to do. Uh, I, I like those, um, but also, like I said, also I really uh, love uh, to take the, uh, sing, uh, the simple whole food multivitamins because I can take them in the morning and be done with it, okay? I take my, my supplements in the morning, and I take all three of them at once, and I'm done with it. Travis said not to take MNS because I have a pacemaker. Um, 
Yeah, Patricia, it's very possible that both MS, Omni, and Delta have a um, something uh, in them, probably the energy sec uh, portions of their multivitamin in the um, Omni, and certainly the um, the energy supplement that is in the Delta that could elevate heart rate some for you. So that's that's a really good that's a really good suggestion from from Travis there. Um, anyway, all right. So I have I have uh, something I got to do this morning. So I'm already late. Do I take a whole food vitamin? My daughter needs an appetite suppressant. Okay, you do take a whole food multivitamin. Your daughter needs an appetite suppressant. Uh, Crave check. Crave check. Avocare Crave check. Works really good. Avocare Crave check. You can, uh, you can go to jasonandspark.com and get those if you want to. jasonandspark.com. It'll have Travis's picture up in the corner. <laughs> he just likes to see when I send people through the link. But yeah, Crave Check is a good supplement for that. Um, it works as good, Angela. It's safe. And it, it works as good as any kind of uh, prescribed um, appetite suppressant, but it, it's natural. So it's not, um, it's not speed. It's not speed. Uh, and, you know, there's lots of appetite suppressants that you can buy at the Walmart in the pharmacy section. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of the fat buster pill or whatever it's called. The, uh, it, it, it's much safer than those things. Those are, they're safe enough to sell at Walmart. You know, it's like the little, there's always been yellow jackets and, and the little caffeine pills you can get at the uh, convenience store that are appetite suppressants. I don't suggest that for anybody. Uh, and that's not a very, very short term solution. Okay, the, uh, these AdvoCare products are extremely trustworthy uh, nutrients. Good, good, good stuff, good stuff. All right, all right. I do. Uh, I have. I have to. I have to go. But what I was gonna tell you <laughs> before I got busy is I did it. I did it. I'm gonna show you so you can see. I hope. Okay. Let me get this to be out of the way. Uh, challenge. Cause the weight loss after Christmas. Tammy, don't go yet. Look, twas the weight loss after Christmas uh, is up. Okay, it's up. Now you can go. Uh, 27th through the second. Um, I got a brand new badge for it. It's, uh, it's, it's similar to the before badge, but it's up. Um, it's going to be the same uh, stuff, you guys. So we're gonna we're gonna have something to do after Christmas to get us through New Year's, and y'all pray that uh, our sale goes well, uh, that everything works out for Shibola uh, throughout the next two weeks. It's very important for our ministry that uh, we get um, that we have a, a a good end of the year sale. This is this is when. Uh, we set ourselves up for the next several months of ministry, typically, typically now COVID has uh, been a, um, has been a booger for the last year or so, right? Well, two years, two, two new years, actually, uh, when it comes to the uh, sustainability of our finances in our ministry, uh, typically beginning of the year, starting um, about two weeks before Christmas, all the way through uh, February is when things are really good and they've not been at all for the last two years. So if y'all see one of our uh, 12 days of Christmas, uh, uh, chal uh, not challenge, but uh, uh, 
$49 lifetime membership special links out there. If y'all will share those with friends, get as many people to uh, enjoy this super awesome, great fi uh, financial uh, joining point. Um, get them in there if you can. We really need as many shares on Facebook as we get. A hundred shares a post would be fantastic. Um, all right, I, that's that's. I'm not trying to to boost anything, but but the ministry today. Um, okay. That's it. I'm not going to preach today. No preaching today. I'll preach tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs>